hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm sharing with you all how to make my version of arabian potatoes so if you'd like to see how to make this keep watching so to start this recipe i have two large potatoes cut up into cubes with the skin on i am going to salt it and place it on my stove and bring it up to a boil until it's halfway cooked you want it to just cook until it's not fork tender but when the fork goes through it you still feel some firmness in the potato and you'll know that the potato is ready so don't overboil it once that is done drain it and set it aside next you're going to put up your frying pan with oil and once it's hot you're going to fry your potatoes until they're golden brown this is just going to add texture and crunch to the outside of the potatoes and the inside of the potato is still going to be really soft and pillowy and airy so once they're nice and light brown like this go ahead and take them out of the hot oil and drain them on your paper towel and set aside next let's make our dressing so in a small bowl i'm adding in some sumac and i found this at futang you can find it at any supermarket here in the us or on amazon next goes in some turmeric powder ground paprika you can use smoked paprika if you like and another ingredient and the main ingredient is the zatar seasoning you really need this attar, so please don't omit it. And this can be found at any major supermarkets in Trinidad. So go ahead and add in about 2 teaspoons of olive oil. And give that a good mix. Once it's been mixed, just set it aside. In a large skillet, I'm adding in butter and I'm allowing that butter to melt. Now to that, I'm adding in some finely chopped onions. This is going to add some sweetness to your potatoes and some pimento peppers for extra flavor. Now go ahead and let that saute in there for about a minute until the onions start to turn light brown in color. After which you'll go in with your garlic. You're just going to cook the garlic until it's nice and tender. Don't allow the garlic to burn, it will get bitter. So just allow it to soften. Once the garlic softens, now we're going to add in our potatoes. Next, you want to drizzle that mixture that we made all over the potatoes. And guys, if you wanted to add some cooked chicken pieces or shrimp to this, by all means, go for it. It's just going to make it a one-pot meal. And mix. Now, you can smash down on some of the potato pieces if you wanted to. I'm finishing with some chopped parsley, and I'm just going to give that a mix. Now, you want to taste and adjust your salt, and this is ready to be served. How simple, easy, and it was so delicious. I can't wait for you all to try this recipe. Comment down below, let me know what you think about the recipe. If you make it, also let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.